Hello everyone, uh, VO1OE. Uh, just a little project I finished up and got really good results and I figured I'd share it. It's basically a dual band collinear antenna made out of nothing but uh, RG58 cable. So if you got uh, about a meter, meter and a half of RG58, a soldering iron and uh, a little bit of time on your hands, you can get yourself a dual band antenna. The bottom section um, stays the same as just like you normally would. That's, uh, that here is 288 millimeters. After 288 millimeters, you're going to get a section where you're going to take the shield off. That's 360 millimeters. After that, you've got a section that you leave the shield on. That is 230 millimeters. And then you're going to have a section where you take the shield off again, and that is two, uh, sorry, 360 millimeters. And my advice would be to take that and make an extra, uh, I'll say six to eight centimeters beyond that. So basically, when you have it all assembled, you use your analyzer and SWR meters to basically trim the top to make it uh, your, your SWR sweet spot. And the, I've got it, I should have done this beforehand, but essentially uh, you have a stub uh, of RG58 as well, and that is 35 millimeters. And you, the stub is uh, grounded at the tip, so you take your center and your shield and solder them together. And then, so down below, you've got your two ends, your main antenna end and your stub end. The two centers go together and the two shields go together. So I have the shields twisted, or sorry, the centers twisted together and into the SO239 mount. And I have the shields of both stub and um, the RG58 cable going into... Uh, two ring connectors that are both grounded to the, or mounted to the SO239 chassis connector. I've gotten pretty much dead flat SWR on the 440 band, and say from uh, 144.5 to 147.5, uh, very decent uh, 1.5 or less on 2 meters. It favors 440 a bit more but uh, like I said make your very top element longer by about 6 to 8 uh, centimeters and just trim it down until you hit that sweet spot and other than that that's pretty much it. I just got the uh, the pipe PVC pipe there so I'm gonna make a, an enclosure for all this now if you wanted to, you don't need to put a connector on it. You can just leave it as is, um, shrink, uh, get some heat shrink wrap, and do it that way. I prefer to have a little bit, more, something a little bit more rigid for the Newfoundland and Canadian climate. But yeah, that's about it, and uh, absolutely excellent results. And it's uh, like I said, if you got about 10 minutes in your hands, you'll do quite well. Now those uh, measurements that I gave you before, which is the 360. Um, the 360, 230, 360, and 288 millimeters, as well as the stub is 35. Those are pretty strict. You don't want to be too far off those numbers as ideally as possible. Make it exact as what you can. And I'll see about, uh maybe screenshotting or I'll, maybe I can do a re, uh, once I have it all assembled I'll do another uh, little video of the SWR plots and let you know how, how I made it there. Um, I've got a couple of screenshots but maybe I'll do a video on it as well. Take care and uh, a great uh, antenna to make on an absolutely glorious Newfoundland winter day. <laughs>